Hello, I'm Stephen from Home Appliance Mart. I'm here to install the UHD television that you ordered last week. Yes, come right this way. We would like to mount the television on this wall. We plan to use it for presentations and training seminars. Oh no! It looks like I forgot the tools that I need to screw the television to the wall mount. I'm sorry. I'll have to come back tomorrow morning. Oh, that's all right. However, please call me before you come tomorrow to make sure that someone is in the office to meet you. Hello, Mr. Weaver. You are one of the final applicants that we are considering for the teaching position at Belmont University. How do you think your previous jobs have prepared you to teach at our university? Well, I used to be an editor in chief at a literary magazine. Therefore, I think it has prepared me well to teach in the English literature department at your university. I would be able to help students to become better writers. Well, I think you are right about that. You seem to be qualified for the position. As you may know, we don't pay a lot for this position. However, if you take a job with us, you would receive a lot of time off during the summer vacation. Actually, that's one of the reasons I chose this job. Chris, how are the renovations going in the dining room? Do you think we'll be ready to reopen by this Saturday? No, definitely not. The shipment of floor tile still hasn't arrived, because the floor space is so large. It will take at least a week to finish the entire project. Ah, I see. Well, we have a lot of dinner reservations for the weekend. What should I do about that? Why don't you call everyone who already made a reservation and offer them a twenty percent discount on their next meal by way of compensation? Hi, Linda. I'm responsible for putting together a slideshow for Greg's going away party this Friday. However, I can't find many pictures. Do you happen to have any photos of Greg that you could send to me? What? Greg is leaving the company? I had no idea. Yeah, he is taking a job at a design company. He said the job is more suited to his skills. Oh, I'm happy for him. I have a few photos from last year's Christmas party. I'll find the ones with Greg in them and email them to you. Joanne, did you hear that all employees will be receiving free tablet computers next week? I'm excited about it, but actually, I don't know how to use one. Even my mobile phone is not a smartphone. Don't worry about it. I have one at home, and they are very user-friendly. You won't have any trouble familiarizing yourself with it. I'm glad to hear that. As a logo design company, we can definitely use tablet computers to increase work efficiency. You're right. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me for help. Excuse me, I'm conducting research on the effect that the new downtown mall is having on local residents' shopping habits. Do you have a moment to talk to me? Sure, no problem. I can tell you that since the mall was built, I find myself coming downtown a lot more. I think what I like most is that I never have to struggle to find a parking spot. I see. What about the variety of shops? Are you satisfied with that? Well, I usually come to the mall to shop for clothes. I think there is a wide selection of women's clothes. Have you placed the order yet? Mr. Johnson just called and said he wants two more laptops and a 50-inch monitor. Well, I already placed the previous order, but the laptops and monitor will have to wait until tomorrow. The supply company closes at 8 p.m. Oh, will they be able to deliver to us on the same day? Mr. Johnson was hoping to get everything tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'll call them first thing in the morning and find out. Meanwhile, how much was the total for the order? It came to twelve thousand five hundred dollars. Do we have enough in our budget for more laptops and a monitor? I'll call Mr. Johnson and ask. It looks like we've gone over our budget. Hi, Mr. Jeffries. Unfortunately, our client in New Jersey called and said they have to reschedule the meeting date to fifth of July. I went ahead and booked a ticket for the fourth. Is it okay if you go straight to Washington after New Jersey? What about the client in Washington? Were they comfortable with the schedule? Yes, I explained that we need to postpone the meeting in Washington because of our client in New Jersey. I think this gives us time to prepare some additional materials for your presentation. I would like to add some more details to your PowerPoint slides about our new products. Let's meet this afternoon and discuss it. That's not a bad idea. I'll see you this afternoon. 
Rachel, how was your vacation in Australia? It was fantastic. It is a beautiful country, but we did not get to see everything we wanted to see. Maybe we will go back in the future. Have you managed to find a new account manager yet? We are starting to get busy, and we need some more staff. Actually, there is someone we are looking to hire. His CV is quite impressive. Here, take a look. What's this? Is this Robert Wilder's application? I have known him for years. We play tennis together on the weekends. So you are thinking about hiring him? Yeah, the interview went really well, and he has all the qualifications. I think he can be a great member of our team. I agree. I have never worked with him, but personally, I think he will be an excellent employee. I'm just surprised to see him applying here. Tom and Julie, I need the sales reports for this month ready a bit early. Next month is really important for our company, so we need to prepare a bit earlier than usual. Sure, but we will need to do some overtime. We are really busy at the moment, so it's going to be a lot of extra hours after work, and I have to take care of my children. Yeah, that's a lot of extra work. I think after next month we should get a few days added to our vacation. That sounds reasonable. I will need to hire a babysitter while I'm doing the overtime, so the extra vacation time seems fair. I agree. Okay, we will discuss the details later, but I definitely agree with you. Hi, we are renovating our boardroom, and I'd like to purchase some cherry wood tables for our conference room. I'm having a meeting with some very important clients on Friday, so I'd like to have them delivered tomorrow. What is the cost for an emergency delivery? Hold a moment, please. Next day delivery is an extra seventy-five dollars. Really? That is expensive. I thought if my order was over three hundred dollars, delivery would be free of charge. Well, yes. Are you planning to order the cherry wood tables? Yes, I would like two of them. Okay then. I will make sure that your order arrives tomorrow morning before midday, and delivery will be free of charge. Hi, this is Rachel. I'm calling to see if I can upgrade from coach to business for my flight to Thailand this June. Okay, can I have your membership number, please? Yes, it's E M three nine eight five seven seven one. I'm sorry, you don't have enough points for this trip. However, I see that you're traveling to Korea and Japan next week. That should give you enough points to upgrade in June. Why don't you call again after your trip? Okay, that's a great idea. I'll call again in two weeks. You beat me again. You always get to work before I do, even though I leave before you. How do you do that? Which road do you take? I just follow my GPS, and it shows that Kingsley Road is the most direct route to work. No, don't follow your GPS. Your route passes through several residential areas and school zones, as well as traffic signs, so it takes much longer to get here. Which route do you take then? I go to Cambridge Street, which takes a bit of a detour from our apartments, but it's practically a highway. I even have enough time to stop for some coffee before work. Wow! I always thought Cambridge would take much longer. No, it's really quick. I can show you next time. Amy, it is your responsibility to check that the store is clean and well stocked for customers before we open for the day. Most importantly, I would like you to make sure that the proper price tags are displayed in front of their corresponding products. Customers get really confused and upset when the price of a product is displayed incorrectly. In the case that a customer ever does get displeased, please let me know right away so I can come and deal with the problem in person. The town of Dayton is excited to announce the opening of a new community center. The center provides daytime activities for kids and adults of all ages. For the grand opening, the local band Summer Heat, led by Jim Nielsen, will perform a show in half an hour. Afterwards, attendees are encouraged to fill out a survey meant to judge the needs of local citizens. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a test screening of our pilot for a new daytime sitcom entitled Once Upon a Romance. Your participation in this focus group is essential for assessing audience reception. This television show is meant to appeal to middle-aged housewives, and that is why you have all been selected. After watching the pilot, we will take you to a meeting room where we will conduct an in-depth interview that will help us gather your feedback and responses. Thank you again for your cooperation. 
This is a reminder that legendary soccer player Tommy Durrant will be signing autographs at Dave's Sports Shop at 1 p.m. tomorrow. You are encouraged to bring your own items, such as clothes or books, for Mr. Durrant to autograph. Also, at this time, parents will be able to sign their children up for a summer soccer camp that will be run by Tommy Durrant. The camp is limited to 20 children, so anyone who is interested should sign up early. As I'm sure everyone is aware, we have recently merged with another company that is located in India. Now that we have become an international cooperation, we will be sending a lot of our most vital data through unsecure email systems. According to the IT department, this is unavoidable. Unfortunately, this means we have to be very careful with what data we send through email. This afternoon, everyone must attend a seminar explaining the new procedures for what data can be sent via email. The rest will be sent using secure email. If you don't come to the meeting, then I will have to explain the same thing over and over again, and my schedule is too tight to do that. So, everyone should come to the first floor meeting room at 2:30 p.m. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone for attending the annual Bob Schilling Short Theatre Festival. I'm sure you have all enjoyed the performances so far. The actors have put in many nights of rehearsal to bring you some excellent performances. Next up is the Bromley Actors Guild, and they will be doing Shakespeare's play *The Tempest*. This is a play that is focused on the themes of magic and illusion. Remember, last year the Bromley Actors Guild won first place at this event, so you should look forward to seeing them perform this wonderful play. After the play finishes, we will have question and answer time, and you can get to know some of the members of the guild on a personal level. I'm sure you are all aware that the new line of cell phone cases and selfie sticks we released are selling very well. For some reason, though, our range of portable batteries are selling quite poorly. I wonder if the cost is too high compared to the other products on the market. We need to develop a strategy to start selling more batteries, so I've consulted with a marketing specialist in regard to changing our prices. This afternoon, we will have a conference call with them. So please come to my office after lunch and sit in on the discussion. Hi, Susan. I'm calling about the office furniture we delivered to Harmons and Sons recently. They said their first floor looks really good, but they are going to need 20 chairs and 12 whiteboards for their boardrooms upstairs. They recently merged with another company, so I think they will have a lot more staff in their building soon. Make sure you check what we have in the warehouse. If we are missing anything, we need to order it today. Also, before you send the order, please have me sign off on it. As the manager, I need to sign all outgoing orders before they leave the office. Please let me know when you have the order prepared. Okay, everybody. Thank you for coming in. I received the statistics for this year's software market shares. Although we are still in the top four companies, we need to work harder. Slightline Incorporated has just moved past us by three percent one year. We were much bigger than them last year. Analysts are suggesting that Slightline's success is because they give away a lot of free software updates after people buy their games. In the next quarter, we are going to begin to offer all of our expansion packs for free download. I think this can give us the edge we need and help us get back about Slightline Incorporated. Hello, everyone. Welcome to your first day at Valencia's Culinary Training Center. Your ability to combine cooking skills with health and safety procedures will be crucial for your future career. Here's our training schedule for the next four days. Today, we will work on basic knife skills and food preparation. This is an essential first step in becoming a skilled chef. For the rest of the week, each day we'll have a different theme relating to the most important aspects of working in a kitchen. We have some celebrity chefs coming in who are highly skilled, and I am sure you will enjoy working with them. One more thing to remember is we will have a special team lunch on Wednesday that will be prepared by everyone together. Miss Potter, the package that you sent to the advertising agency in Tokyo was returned today. It seems that you sent it to the wrong address. Actually, I received an email from the Tokyo office today informing me that they relocated their office yesterday. I wish they had told me earlier. Well, that's unfortunate. 
It seemed unfair that you had to pay for the postage. It must have been expensive to send such a large package. Yes, it was. I'm going to request that the company in Tokyo pay me back. This is Mike Judge, your host for the morning news here at QQBC 99.5. Today, our guest is business leader Karen Chambers. She recently opened a chain of health food stores across the state. How did you get the idea, Miss Chambers? Well, I majored in food and nutrition, and I minored in business administration. So my goal was to utilize what I learned in college to open a successful company. Ah, I see. What factor do you think has contributed most to the success of your chain of stores? I think it's due to the recent trend of people showing enormous interest in health and fitness. Hello, I am here because I'm interested in buying an instrument. My son just turned seven years old today, and I thought it would be a great birthday present. Could you give me some advice on what to buy? Well, I usually suggest that children start by learning the piano. String instruments such as guitars or violins can be difficult for children to hold. On the other hand, a piano is fine for children as they can learn musical principles easily. I see. However, do you think my son is too young to begin learning an instrument? Not at all. Actually, children can learn as young as three years old. Here is a pamphlet that will give you some information about the lessons for children that we offer. Steve, did you notice that this month there was a slight decrease in the number of viewers for our show? I'm worried our new host, Jim Cruz, isn't very popular with viewers. I know. I was expecting a lot more viewers. I think we need to spend more money on advertising. I see. Maybe a lot of people are just unaware of the show. I'll get in touch with an advertising agency right away. Thanks. Tell me if you need any assistance. Good morning, Miss Spencer. Why did you come to work particularly early today? Usually, I'm the only one here at this time. Well, I have to leave work early today in order to attend my sister's wedding, so I came in early. By the way, do you think you could do me a favor? Sure, I'd be happy to. What seems to be the problem? The stapler ran out of staples. Do you think you could bring me some more from the supply closet on the second floor? I have something to do right now. Marcus, have you finished designing the layout for our new online clothing store? I'm really excited to start selling our clothes online as well as at the offline store. Can I see the website? Sure, but there are still a few changes I would like to make. I'm worried that some customers might get confused while navigating the website. I think I need to simplify the interface more. What do you think? Actually, I like it the way it is. I don't think it's too confusing. However, I think we need to add more photographs of the products. If customers can't see exactly how the products look, they might be discouraged from making a purchase online. Hi, Sarah. I'm making plans for the next business conference in the summer. What venues would you recommend? I think Highwind Hotel has great conference rooms and all the necessary equipment you might need. I've planned seminars as well as weddings there, and they always do a great job. All right, I'll give them a call and reserve their spaces today. Did you release a newsletter about it yet? No, I just want to confirm the venues first, and then we'll start sending out emails and newsletters. Great. Let me know if you need any help. Thanks. In fact, can you take a look at a draft I'm working on? I'd like your opinion on it. Excuse me, Mrs. Stevenson. Do you have a minute to discuss the new contract you offered me? Actually, I'm on my way to appointment. Is there a problem with the contract? Actually, there is. The vacation time is much lower on the new contract, and I had planned a trip to Europe this summer. I see. Have you already paid for your flights and accommodation? Yes, I have. I had been planning it for months. It is a large amount of money. I see. I'm sure we can work it out. I think I can extend your old contract until after your vacation. I don't want you to lose your money. Come to my office at around 3 p.m. today, and we will try to work something out. Hi, Beth. Do you like amusement parks? Yeah, I really like them. Some of us from the accounting department are going to Dreamworld on Saturday for a team bonding day. Oh, really? I've never been there before. I had some plans this Saturday, but I can easily change them. 
What time were you thinking of going? We should meet around 10 a.m. at Central Station. It will be much easier to take the subway because it's hard to find parking at the amusement park. Okay, sounds good. I will book all of the tickets on my credit card online so we don't have to wait in the line. Are you guys ready? We need to leave shortly because the show starts in an hour. The traffic will be very busy. Yeah, we better go soon. I'm so excited. I've never seen a Broadway show before. I'll call John and see if he is ready to go or not. Tell him I can pick him up with my car on the way there. Otherwise, he has to take the subway, and that will take a long time. Yeah, you're right. I will text him and let him know we are on the way. Do not text him. I will just call him now and let him know. Oh, and Judy, I will give you some money for parking because it is quite expensive at the theater. Okay, the body wash set on special today is $68. Do you have a customer loyalty card? I have a discount coupon I want to use while it's still valid. It's in my bag. Here it is. Okay. Hmm, it's not registering on the computer. Let me try to figure this out. Wait a minute. Oh, I see what the problem is. I don't have enough items. Let me get more things and I will be right back. No problem. I will hold this stuff at the counter for you while you take a look. Did you hear about the network closures next week? Mr. Bronson got the email about this yesterday. They need to upgrade our network so we can update our software next month. Oh, okay. But why would they put the second floor offline at 1 o'clock? They are usually so busy during that period. I don't understand why they would schedule it like that. They should do it on their lunch break. Hmm. Good point. You should go to talk to the manager. I'm sure he will agree with you, and then he can get the schedule changed. Yeah, I will. I think I better tell him now so we can arrange it. Hello, I'm traveling to Barcelona, Spain on business next month. I'd like to use my mileage points to upgrade my seat. Of course. Can you please tell me your Gen Air membership number? Okay, it's JA388739. Give me a minute as I bring up your information. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't have enough points to upgrade for this trip. Oh, that's too bad. How many points do I need? About 20,000 more points. You should have enough to upgrade after your trip to Spain, however. Oh, that's so disappointing. I'll have to come to terms with waiting another few months before that upgrade then. Hello, my name is Rick Dunn. I was in your store today, and I'm worried I may have left my wallet there. Earlier today, I was in the home furniture section looking at some couches. I think my wallet may have slipped out of my pocket while sitting on one of the couches. If you could please look for it, I would really appreciate it. I'd like to stop by your store when you open it at 9 a.m. tomorrow. I hope you have good news for me. My phone number is 023 555 Six five four one. Thank you in advance. Welcome to the Gold Museum of Ancient Artifacts. I'll be your guide today for the Ancient Egypt exhibit. The majority of the artifacts you will see today are being put on public display for the first time. In particular, this exhibit features the everyday objects used by ancient Egyptian people. These items include jewelry, pots, and kitchen utensils. After this tour, you can purchase a book in our gift shop that includes photographs of the artifacts with more detailed background information explaining their origins. Attention passengers! Our arrival in Chicago is expected to be somewhat behind schedule. Due to the heavy snowfall, our bus driver must use appropriate caution and drive at a slower speed. Therefore, we will probably be arriving an hour later than our scheduled arrival time, which was 5 pm. Although these circumstances are out of our control, we do apologize for any inconvenience it may cause you. We'd like to remind passengers that this bus offers a free Wi Fi connection. This is just one of the amenities that make riding with us more comfortable than with our competitors. Good afternoon, dedicated listeners. You're listening to the weekly broadcast of World Table, the program that explores culinary traditions from all around the world. On today's show, our guest is Cindy Mills, a renowned documentary producer. 
Miss Mills is going to speak about her new documentary, Food and Life of China. She produced the documentary while visiting traditional Chinese restaurants and interviewing chefs and restaurant patrons. If you visit the website at www.tmostation.com, you can view a trailer for the documentary. Great news, everybody! Quarterly profits are up 23 percent. The introduction of our new range of body washes has exceeded all of our expectations. Our other products have continued to sell well, particularly our facial creams and hand creams. Last month, our products were featured in On Vogue magazine, and they had a three-page story on the quality of our manufacturing process. This must have helped with our sales increase. We are expecting more media exposure in the following months, and the release of several new products. How about that? I'm proud of all the work you have put into this quarter. Let's keep it up. Hello, everyone. I'd like to announce a few changes in our procedure that are designed to save us money. Firstly, we will no longer be sending statements to clients through the post. We'll be using email to send monthly statements. It is a simple procedure, and when the software is installed, I don't think you will need any training. The system is very straightforward. We are also renting out the catering room and installing some refrigerators in the cafeteria, so you will have to start bringing your own lunches to work. Hi, Julia. This is Frank Walton from Human Resources. We need to post an ad this week for a new dental assistant. A colleague told me you are really good at making job application ads. Have you seen the criteria for the dental assistant position? This is my first time recruiting new staff, so I'm a little unfamiliar with some of the questions. I would really appreciate it if you could come by my office today and teach me the criteria. Thanks. Hi, this message is for Ronald Benson. My name is Stuart Lawson, the manager at Rosewood Printing Company. We just received an online order from you for 2,000 wedding invitations with lace and gold fabric wrappings. I'm calling just to confirm your order is for 2,000 invitations and not 200. It is unusual to get such a large order, so I just want to make sure it is correct. Please call me back to confirm when you have a chance. We will not proceed with the order until you confirm. Also, if you are planning such a large event, we have an excellent planner in the office named Schubert Mendez. If you want to speak with him, just ask for extension twelve when you call to confirm. I will make sure he gives you a free consultation. Hi, everybody. This is the Late Shift with Joey Denton on Freenet Radio. Today we have George Farrelly in the studio to talk about his hit new album, which has been number one on the charts for six weeks. Earlier today. George was telling me how his album was heavily influenced by his recent move to London, and the growing rock and roll scene there. You can definitely hear the British influence in the title track, frankly speaking. Coming up next, we will discuss George's up-and-coming marriage to his long-time girlfriend Cindy Pullman. Thanks for joining us today, George. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the retirement celebration of our longtime president, Mr. Zhang. Mr. Zhang has served as president for the last 22 years, and has helped build our business from its humble beginnings to a Fortune 500 company. It's a pleasure to host this special event in the famous Gloria Westwood Ballroom. I consider it an indication of the success we have experienced. My name is Bob Hopkins, and I've worked for Mr. Zhang for over 20 years. I consider him to be one of the most talented, honest, and hardworking people I know. And I feel privileged to call him my friend. So, with no further ado, please put your hands together for Mr. Zhang. Hello, this is Julia Kramer calling from Human Resources. I gave your department a laptop computer to be fixed last week, and I still haven't received an update. The keyboard needed to be replaced. Ah,、oh, yes, Miss Kramer. We have had a lot of work orders lately, so we are a little behind with repairs. Is the matter urgent? Well, I just forgot to copy an important file off the hard drive that I need for my work. I can transfer that file onto a storage device for you. Come to my office at your convenience. Hello, Miss Turner. This is Michael Schmidt calling from the Yorkshire Seaside Hotel. 
It says here that you would like to be informed if a seaside room became available. Well, someone has just cancelled. So if you would like to upgrade, you may. Oh, great! Thanks so much for informing me. How much more is the upgraded room compared to the standard room? Well, it will cost an extra fifty dollars a night. However, the room comes with a larger bed and a hot tub. I recommend you visit our website to see pictures and information on the room. Okay, I'll look at your website and then call you back with my decision. Hello. Since I bought an air conditioner from your store, I have never changed the air filter. Should I replace it soon? When did you buy it? We recommend changing the filter once a year at a minimum. If you suffer from allergies, you should change it even more often. Oh, I guess I'm due for a new filter then. How can I purchase a replacement? Do you carry it there? Yes, we do. All you need to tell us is the model number of your air conditioner. Do you happen to know it? Katrina, I'm going to pick you up at five o'clock to go to the rock festival. I had such a great time last year. I hope it's even better this year. Yeah, I'm excited too. However, are you sure if we leave at five o'clock, we will still get there on time? It starts at five thirty, and I think it takes at least an hour to get there. Huh? Isn't it being held in Harpersville like last year? No, the festival is being held in Bristol this year. The festival organizers are expecting more attendees this year. They were concerned that there wouldn't be enough parking spaces, so they moved it to Bristol. Stephanie, did you see the flyer hanging on the bulletin board in the hallway? It says a yoga class will be available to all employees free of charge. Are you planning on signing up? Yeah, I saw that. It looks like a great opportunity, but the class is held on Wednesday nights, and that's the same day as my jazz dance class. Oh, I didn't know you took a dance class. You have so many talents I didn't know about. I would love to see you dance sometime. Well, actually, we are putting on a performance next month at the Mond Theater. I would be so happy if you and our team members came. Hello, this is Axel Fisher calling. I placed an order last week for a blouse that I was going to give to my wife as a present. However, I think I bought the wrong size. I'd like to cancel the order. I'm sorry, but that item was already shipped. You'll have to wait until it arrives and then return it. But don't worry, we can still refund your purchase. Oh, thanks. Well, I'm surprised it was shipped so soon after the order was placed. By the way, will I have to pay for shipping? Unfortunately, yes. According to our policy, in this case, you will have to pay for the return shipping. I'll send you a return shipping label via email. What's your email address? Here is the office space you asked me about. It is hot inside because the air conditioners have been off, but usually the temperature is fine. What do you think? It's quite nice. There is a lot of natural sunlight, which I really like. Me too. It's a little small, but we only have five employees, so it would be fine. Is there any public transport close by? Some of our employees take the subway to work. Yes, actually, the Brighton Street stop is about a five-minute walk, so it's pretty close. The only problem is the carpet. It's quite dirty. Does the owner plan on changing it any time soon? Actually, we are having new carpets put in next week, so don't worry about that. If you sign the contract, you won't move your stuff in for a month. That's great. I think we will take it. When do we need to sign the contract? I will prepare it when I get back to the office, and we can sign it all tomorrow afternoon. Okay, Miss Florence. I have talked with my colleagues about purchasing your office building. The total offer, including tax, is three hundred thousand dollars. That's much lower than I had expected. I've had several other offers that are higher than that from other real estate agents. One agent offered me three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Well, there is room for negotiation. We are very interested in the property, so I will pay more if you have other offers. We would like to sign a contract as soon as possible. I'm pleased you can match their offer. I will give you a call this afternoon, and we can arrange the contract. Hi, Simon. I just got a phone call from Joseph Hardy at Datsia Construction. He is wondering why we have not started construction on the Marshall Tower yet. He wants to begin construction as soon as possible because they are losing money while they wait. I see. My lawyers are still going over some of the clauses in the contract that may need changing. I've been meaning to visit him. 
but I have been busy with the new mall we are building on West Point. I'll go down this afternoon and have a talk with him. Okay, I understand. It's probably best we make sure that the contract is right before you sign it. I'll call Joseph and organize a meeting time, and I'll email and tell you what time to go and see him. Okay, Ms. Mendez. The total cost to repaint the foyer will be around four thousand dollars. That includes after service for six months if you have any problems with our work. Hmm, that's more expensive than I thought it would be. Our budget was three thousand dollars. Why is the price so high? I can explain why the price is over your budget. It is because the old paint is peeling badly in some areas. We have to remove it all before repainting, which takes a long time. If you had repainted it earlier, it would be less expensive. In the future, I would recommend painting it every seven years. Okay, I thought I was being overcharged, but that makes sense. You can go ahead and begin painting on the first weekend of August. Excuse me, I'm on a diet at the moment, so I'm looking for some healthier food options. I like to have cereal in the morning. Can you recommend something for me? My nutritionist said that I should eat a lot of protein. There are many different breakfast options. One of my favorites is the new Protein Plus range. It has oats, fruits, and extra protein added. Here, take a look. Hmm, this looks delicious. But my nutritionist said I should keep my sugar intake below 20 grams a day. One serving of this cereal contains 28 grams. Yes, in that case, I recommend that you try having eggs in the morning with some coffee. Then you can eat some sugar later in the day. Hi, I need this suit cleaned. I'm going overseas on a business trip on the weekend, and all my suits are getting a bit old now. How much would it cost to clean this? Hmm, usually twenty dollars, but this one will cost a bit more. Really? On your price list, it says twenty dollars. Well, yes, but you're very tall. This suit is going to take longer to clean and require more products. It will incur an additional surcharge. Hmm. Maybe I will take it somewhere else. That doesn't seem fair. Okay. I will do it for twenty dollars. And whenever you need a suit cleaned, please come back to me. Hi, Jimmy. Just checking up on you. Are you finished installing the wiring for the lighting in the Olive Cosmetics building? I'm nearly finished. There were some problems with the electrical box, so I had to fix some old fuses. So it took longer than expected. Okay, I'm nearly finished the lighting on the first floor, but I need help installing some cables in the roof. Can you come downstairs when you are finished? Sure. This will take me another twenty minutes. Then I will come down. Hello, my name is Alice Keller. I'm calling to reserve some tables for a private party next Thursday. I've been a loyal customer of your restaurant for years. And trust it will be the perfect place for my wedding after party. We are expecting around 50 guests, and we'll pay for food and drinks to be served to all guests. One of our requests is that vegetarian options be available for some guests. Welcome to the Taylor Footwear Factory. On this tour, you will see how shoes are made and packaged before they are shipped to our distributors. One aspect that makes our factory special is that everything is done by hand. Unlike most factories, where automated machines do all the work, at Taylor Footwear Factory, everything is done by a team of experienced shoemakers. Before this tour ends, everyone will get a chance to try making soles of leather sandals themselves, with the assistance of some of our staff members. The last item on today's meeting agenda is preparations for next week's business conference in Germany. Linda Wong from marketing and Chris Owen from sales will be representing our company at the conference. This conference will connect us with more clients and more advantageous business opportunities. Therefore, everyone is asked to email a departmental status report in the first quarter to both Ms. Wong and Mr. Owen before the end of the week to help them prepare. Thank you. Welcome to the opening ceremony for this year's Young Novelist Seminar. This seminar is available to students from high school to university, and will help aspiring would-be novelists grow and develop into the masters of tomorrow. The first thing we ask everyone to do is to fill out a name tag and attach it to your clothes. There are over 100 students here, and it's difficult to keep track of everyone. 
Next up, Natasha Marsh, the renowned literary critic, is going to give the opening speech of the ceremony. Please listen up. She has some inspiring words for everyone today. This is Ron Brixton from CCR News. I'm here at the Wingtip Shoe Store next to Hyde Park, where hundreds of people have been camping overnight, waiting to buy the new running shoe the company will release tomorrow. Some people have camped here overnight or taken the day off work to be here. From the look of it, you'd think they were giving their shoes away. The shoe is a huge upgrade on Wingtip's last pair of shoes because of the new Boost technology. The Boost technology is made with three stripes of an innovative material the company has developed, which contains thousands of specially formulated foam pellets called energy capsules. To show appreciation to its most loyal customers, Wingtip are giving out a limited edition pair on the first day of sales, which features the signature of the Chicago Blue Star forward Jerry Hallowell. Our next guest speaker is Gary Hardwell, CEO of Broadbank Industries. His company is responsible for funding our latest work, building wells in Africa. The value of his contributions can be seen on the walls of his office, which are lined with pictures of the villages he has provided with clean drinking water. In the last year, Broadbank Industries has donated over twelve million dollars and built over three thousand wells across the poorest regions of Africa. This has grown into Mr. Hardwell's greatest passion, and he now spends about six months of each year in Africa, overseeing his workers and ensuring his money is being spent in the right places. I think it's safe to say that Mr. Hardwell should leave some room on his walls. In the next year, he intends to increase well production by ten percent. He has written a book about his experiences titled "Water Is Life: Giving Back to the World." Today, he will preview the book and show us some video footage of the work he is doing in Africa. Please put your hands together for Mr. Hardwell. Hello, Miss Francis. This is Barry Walls from Calvin Fashion. We received your design portfolio last month. I'm sorry I didn't call you sooner. I was out of town on a business trip. I really liked your designs. It is exactly the kind of look we are going for in our summer collection. I would like to meet you for dinner in the next few days and show you the designs we are interested in. If you are happy with the arrangement, we can go back to my office and prepare a contract. Please get back to me as soon as possible so we can arrange a time. I really look forward to working with you. Hello, this is George Benson from Winbox Computers. We made a catering order two weeks ago, but we need to make some changes. We have added some additional businesses to the luncheon, so we are going to need to increase the number of cold meat trays we ordered to ten, and the mixed salad plates to eight. Everything else can remain the same. Our order number is five five two one six seven three. Please give me a call back to confirm the changes. Thanks. Hi all, welcome to the annual florist convention. It's a pleasure to see so many people here today. My name is Juliet White, and I am the president of the Maryland Florist Association. Today will be a great day filled with a lot of informative seminars and practical examples of how to improve your skills in all areas of floristry. First thing in the morning, everyone should meet at 9 a.m. on the street in front of the Tulip Garden. In the Tulip Garden, we have the most diverse collection of tulips in England. At the moment, most are blooming, so it's a fantastic opportunity to see how you can make new and exciting arrangements. One more thing I suggest is that you visit the aviary before you go home. The combination of the animal life and flowers is truly a sight to behold. Hello, Granville Produce Shoppers. It's our first birthday, and we're commemorating it with a special offer this week through Sunday. You'll be able to take advantage of our great savings. Make sure you stop by our heirloom tomato corner, where you can find our award-winning selection of heirloom tomatoes of every variety and color. By far the best deal is the brandy wine this season. Normally at two dollars fifty per pound, the brandy wine won't last long. Don't wait. Come into Granville Produce right away before all of the fresh, delicious vegetables are gone. Thank you for being our loyal customers over the past year. We hope to make this birthday the first of many. Hello, 
Last Thursday, I arranged to have cable television installed at my house this Wednesday. Unfortunately, I will have to be out of town that day because of some urgent matters, and would like to reschedule the appointment for Friday afternoon. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem. However, I would like to warn you that there is a five-dollar rescheduling fee. That's our company's policy. Can I have your name, please? Oh, I see. My name is Charlie Kramer. I'm living in Haynesville. Do you know when I'll have to pay this fee? I'll email you soon about a username and temporary password that you can use on our website. Please check the email and pay all your bills through our website. Hi, Tiffany. Do you know what happened to the company car? I tried to reserve it today, but I was told it's being repaired. When Mark was driving yesterday, he got a flat tire. I just heard that the car should be out of the repair shop by this evening. I'll let you know when they call me. Oh, that's good news. I was worried because I need it tomorrow morning to pick up an important client from the airport. Ah, isn't that Mr. Lee from Beijing? Just in case, why don't you call a local car rental business and reserve a car for tomorrow? If the company car is fixed in time, you can cancel. Hello, this is Kelly in the accounting department. The ink cartridge in the printer on the fourth floor has run out. Do you think you could come to replace it today? Sure. By the way, can I ask you a favor? I need you to let me know what model the machine is, so I can bring the correct one. Actually, I'm not in the office right now, so I can't see what it is. Okay, but how can I find out that information? Do I have to open the printer cover or press some function buttons? No, you don't. Just ask Mr. Hills in your department. He should have a complete list of all the hardware on the fourth floor. Hello, I saw your advertisement on TV promoting your grand opening. Can you tell me about your clothing store? Welcome to our store. Our store specializes in men's suits and formal wear. As a grand opening promotion, we are offering free delivery on all purchases this month. Wow, that's great! I need to buy a suit for my wedding, so I stopped by. Could you show me something I might like? Sure. We have a variety of wedding suits. Please come here. First, I would like to have my assistant take your measurements so we can find a suit that fits you well. It won't take much time. Nice to meet you, Mr. Gomez. I'm sure after you hear about our business, you will want us to provide food and beverages for your company's various events. Nice to meet you, Miss Gates. Thank you for coming today. I haven't inquired about your services because your company is located out of town. I didn't think you could provide services to us. Rose and Lily Co is willing to travel anywhere within the state in order to meet our clients' needs. Our prices don't change depending on distance, so you don't need to worry about that. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. In that case, we will consider your services. What are your specialities? Do you think I could sample some of the food and beverages you provide? Hi, Josh. You work at Century Insurance, don't you? I heard from a friend they are expecting to merge with another company. Is your position secure? Yes, no problem. I will be keeping my position. In fact, my company plans to expand internationally so that we can compete with other global corporations. I'm certain it will be beneficial for both me and my company. I'm glad to hear that. Actually, I've recently been thinking about changing my line of employment. Will there be any opportunities for getting hired at your company? Well, you should visit my company's website because we are posting new job positions that will be available after the merger. Hi, Miss Parker. This is Joseph Sterling from Green Creek Realtors. We need to talk about an issue with the apartment you wanted. Oh, hi, Joseph. Did you manage to find me a place in the Kalua Apartment Building? Yes, that's the reason I'm calling. But there is a bit of an issue. Really? What is it? There is a major pest problem in the building, and they need to clear the whole building and carry out pest control. It's going to take them at least three months to make sure the building is clean, so you would have to wait three months to get a place there. I see. There is a building just nearby called Gracefield Towers. It's very close to the Kalua Building, so you could stay there for three months, then move over to the Kalua Building. I will arrange all of the moving for you. Why don't you go online and check out Gracefield Towers? And get back to me. Sure, that sounds good. Thanks, Joseph. 
Hi, Amos. This is Elizabeth Cox. Last year, you helped find some office space for my company, and I was hoping you could help me find something in the same area. Hi, Elizabeth. It's good to hear from you. If I remember correctly, your office is in the Barnsbury area, right? Yes. Actually, I recently left that company, and I've opened my own legal firm. I only have four staff members, so we don't need a big space, as long as it is in good condition and the location is fine. No problem. I have a few in the area I think you would like. What's your afternoon like? Hey, Judy, did you see the new offices the company built? They look fantastic. Yeah, it's about time. I know we had some slow years, but the last five years everyone has worked so hard, and now it's finally paying off. Our company's growth has been fast, but there has been a lot of long nights and hard work. I agree with you, but it is nice to see it finally paying off. I can't wait to move into my new office. Hi, Roger. Is last month's sales report ready for our meeting today? I have finished my section. Andrew, have you finished yours? I noticed you were at work late last night, so I assumed you had finished. My part is finished. Give me your part, and I will get everything ready for the meeting. Sales are really high this quarter, so management will be very pleased. Oh, that's great. We needed a good quarter after our last one. That was our lowest in history. Andrew, when you're finished, send us an email, and we can prepare for the meeting. Hello, this is Warren speaking. How can I help you today? Hello, Warren. I purchased a work desk from your store. I'm trying to put it together, but there are some important parts missing. I'm sorry about that. Sometimes the manufacturer makes mistakes. What are you missing? Well, the biggest problem is I don't have the tool to put in the bolts, and I'm missing three barrel nuts. Okay, I have those parts in the shop. I have a lunch break at two p.m. I can bring them over to your place if you like. Oh wow, that would be fantastic! Wait one moment, and I will give you my address. Hi, Sandra. I am so sorry I missed our meeting this morning. I didn't realize the tower bridge was closed for upgrading. I had to go over the Brooklyn Bridge. Don't worry about it, Rob. Most of the staff was late because of that. It's going to be annoying to have to go over the Brooklyn Bridge every day. I might just take the express tunnel. Yeah, I know, but the traffic is just so terrible in that tunnel. I can't really handle it. I agree. I think we should all just take the subway until the Tower Bridge is open again. Okay, your total bill comes to seventy-five dollars. I hope you enjoyed your food tonight. Would you like to split the bill? No, I will pay. I have a coupon for a ten percent discount. It's in my wallet. Here it is. Okay. Hmm. It doesn't seem to work when I try to scan it. Let me get the manager. Oh, never mind. I can see the problem. I didn't read it properly. I'm so careless sometimes. We should have ordered more drinks. Well, next time you come in, you should bring a bigger group, and you will get a better discount that way, anyhow. If you like, I can put the coupon in our computer system, so next time you come in, you don't need to bring the card. Attention, conference attendees! Thank you for your patience while you wait for us to solve this delay. Unfortunately, the computer that is to be used during the keynote speaker's presentation is having problems. As a result, we are currently transferring the necessary files onto a different computer. We plan to get underway with the presentation in half an hour. In the meantime, feel free to enjoy some of the refreshments provided near the entrance. We will dim the lights in order to indicate that the presentation will be beginning. Please return to your seats at that time. Welcome back to your local radio station WXFD ninety three point seven with the morning news update. Yesterday, the Clinton Town Council passed a new law prohibiting pet owners from bringing their pets onto public beaches. Tim Kellerman, who was newly elected to the town council last month, justified the decision by arguing that pets can bother other beachgoers. Those who violate the law will have to pay a fine of three hundred dollars. Up next, we will be taking calls from listeners to hear their reaction to this new measure. Welcome to our holiday sale here at Lehman's Department Store. We are currently running our Red Cart Savings event. Pay just one hundred dollars for all the clothing that you can fit in a single red cart. You can get a cart immediately inside the main entrance to the store. Make sure to take advantage of this sale. 
It only happens once a year. In order to accommodate the high volume of customers, we have extra staff located throughout the store. You can spot them easily because they are wearing green vests. Also, you can enter your name into our raffle event by visiting the front desk. I will announce the results at the end of the day. If you're looking for reasonable prices on ink toner, then stop by Quill Office Supplies in Rochester. We have replacement ink toner to fit all models of printers and copy machines. During the month of April, we will send a technician to your location at no charge to help you remove an old ink cartridge and install a new one. If you sign up for regular cartridge refills, you can receive a five percent discount on all of your purchases. For more information, please visit our website at www.quilloffice-supplies.com. Hi everyone! Thanks for meeting with me today. I'd like to announce a few changes in our health and safety policy that are designed to conform to the new government regulations. Firstly, we can no longer work a shift longer than six hours without taking a one-hour break. We'll be using a clock in system that is automated to send you a text message once you reach six hours. You will also wear a device that monitors your time on the shift. It's a very simple device. You just attach it to your work belt, and it will do the rest. So you don't need any training with that. Sharing helmets and work boots is also now prohibited. You will have to buy your own equipment, and then later you can claim the money back on your tax return. Well, it's only been a year since we began operating out of Beijing, but our clothing has become a nationwide success. I got a call from a reporter at Phoenix Television. And they want to do a 30-minute story documenting our rise to success. They want to interview the designers about the clothing we are creating here. Also, Xinhua Fashion Magazine wants to come in next Thursday and do a full photo shoot of one of our stores. So we need to book models for that day. They want to take photos of our new range of denim clothing. The publicity is really going to get our name out. Our success is going to skyrocket. We should expect to get a lot busier soon. Hi everyone. There have been some new regulations sent in from head office. Our productivity assessment was quite poor. They aren't very happy with our performance compared to last year. So we are going to have to put in some overtime to get ahead of schedule. We really need to stay on top of this, or some people might get fired. We are going to need to make a roster and work some weekend overtime shifts. We will have a rotation list, so each staff member works one Saturday every three weeks. I know this is a burden, but once we get high enough above our targets, things will go back to normal. Attention, passengers! Welcome aboard Continental Lines with bus service to Columbia, Charleston, and terminating in Eastport. We will be spending the majority of our trip on the highways, so please make sure you have your seat belts buckled. We will reach our first destination, Columbia, in approximately two hours, making our time at arrival 10:30 p.m. Friday the 15th. We'll be getting on the road shortly. Please make sure all of your luggage is secure and out of your neighbor's way. You can learn about attractions in Columbia and all of our destinations in the travel brochure located in the seat pocket. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the scenery. Hello, everyone. I wanted to get you together to go over the recent failures in our customer service department here at Monster Telecom. As you know, customer service is at the heart of everything we do. We receive, on average, three thousand calls per week from customers with a wide range of needs. In order to prepare you all to handle the most frequently asked questions from our customers, I have distributed the graph in front of you. Please go over this graph with your team leader and develop a plan to improve our customer service. Next quarter's reviews will be in two months. We aim to have half as many weekly calls by then. Springdale Fitness Club has just expanded its swimming facilities to include a lap pool. We are extremely excited to be able to build on our already impressive offerings of aquatic fitness. We'll be having a ribbon cutting ceremony this Saturday at noon, and to celebrate, we will be holding a timed lap race. Because we created the lap pool for our members who are serious about training, we must enforce a policy that requires members to sign up for times to use the pool.
Additionally, the pool is not to be used for freestyle play. Please come down to Springdale Fitness Club on Saturday and join us in the good time. Hi James, this is Candice in the marketing department. I'm supposed to be leading a weekly meeting in room 302 soon, but I just discovered that the room is already in use. I'm sorry, Candice. Actually, I have been getting calls like this all day. It looks like an error with our computer system is to blame for the mix-up. Oh, I see. Well, is there a currently vacant room that I could use for the meeting? The room will need to be equipped with a computer and a projector. I'll need to check manually to determine which room will be available. I'll let you know as soon as I find another suitable room. Please wait for a moment. Hi, Craig. I was expecting you to submit the market analysis report yesterday, but I still haven't received it. Do you need more time to work on it? Hi, Miss Watson. I'm really sorry I didn't send it to you by the determined deadline. I have recently been very busy with another urgent task. I'll make sure I finish the report before doing anything else. Is that okay? Well, I really need that document for a meeting with a potential client tomorrow morning. I'll stop by later today and help you so that we can finish it in time. Hello. I'm interested in enrolling in your school's vocational training program to become a dental assistant, but I couldn't find any information about tuition on your website. Thank you for your interest. We offer a two-semester training program to become a dental assistant at our community college. Tuition for a single semester is $6,500. Oh, I see. Honestly, that is a little more than I expected. I will have to ask my bank about the possibility of getting a student loan. Is there anything else you can tell me? Well, one thing to keep in mind is that our community college offers night classes for all our programs. This is very good for students who work during the day. And please remember that we are one of the top-ranked schools in the state, and so far more than 5,000 of our graduates have become dental assistants. Did you enjoy this afternoon's training session for the new software? I think it will really help us improve the quality of our graphic design work. I thought it was very informative, but there are still a lot of details that I'm unsure about. I wish the instructor had allowed some time for participants to ask questions. Yeah, I agree with you. However, I heard that the instructor of the training session left his contact information with the Human Resources Department. Why don't you try contacting him via email? Welcome back, Catherine. I hope you are feeling better after recovering from the flu. I wanted to make sure you know about the new policy concerning sick leave. I did hear that now we need to submit a doctor's note along with the sick leave form. Will I still be paid the same amount for my sick leave as I would a normal work day? Actually, the terms of compensation have changed as well. I'll print out a copy of the new policy and leave it on your desk later today. If you have more questions, you should contact Jennifer in Human Resources. Hello, I'm calling to ask about the landscaping services you advertise in the newspaper. I moved into a new house two months ago and would like to have some work done on my front yard. Thanks for calling us. Unfortunately, we are currently swamped with requests from a lot of customers. Summer is our busiest season. I'm afraid you will have to wait a month until we can help you. Oh, I understand. I heard your business is professional and reliable, so it's worth the wait. In the meantime, I can provide you with a plan of what I have in mind. Okay, that would be great. After reviewing your plan, I can send you an estimate of potential costs. Hello, Charlotte. I'll be meeting a client for lunch next week. Do you know any great restaurants around here? Yes. Lament's Kitchen and Hildorf Hotel has a quiet atmosphere for meetings and the food is delicious. That's good to know. I'll make a reservation today. Oh, and don't forget that Mr. Willis wants to meet you over dinner today to talk about this month's budget reports. I completely forgot. I'll need to cancel tonight's meeting then. Don't worry about that. I'll inform everyone for you. Thanks. Hi, this is Shelley from BAFTA Airlines. Unfortunately, your flight to Vancouver tomorrow has been cancelled due to weather conditions. The earliest we can fly you out is tomorrow night at 11 p.m. Oh, I actually have an important meeting tomorrow. It won't be easy to reschedule. 
Is there any way you can get me on an earlier flight? I'm sorry, sir, but we are not allowed to fly under certain weather conditions. We understand the inconvenience and would like to offer your return ticket free of charge. There is an overnight bus that will get you there by the morning. I can make the booking for you. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. Let me phone my client in Vancouver, and I will call you back shortly. Hi, Carol. How was the recruitment fair in New York? It was good. We recruited two new customer service managers, and I got to look around the city. New York is a beautiful place. When did you start having flowers in your office? Oh, you noticed them. I had them delivered today to freshen up the place a bit. Um, are they real? Of course. Go and smell them. They are beautiful. I can have some delivered to your office if you like. No, don't worry about it. That's too much bother. But I appreciate the offer. Hi Jennifer, this is Scott. Did you transfer some money to Mr. Woods yesterday? He called me today and said they haven't received the funds yet. They are one of our most important clients, and I don't want to upset them. Grace, did you do it? I asked you to go to the bank yesterday and take care of it. Yes, I did it at about 4 p.m. The bank said it might take an extra business day to go through because they are having some problems with the computer system. Sorry, I should have told you. I see. In the future, please let me know. This client is quite strict about time, so we need to be careful not to upset them. They bring us a lot of business. I need you to email me the transfer receipt so I can send them evidence of the payment. I'm sorry. I'll email you the transfer receipt right away. Did you see this notice? The subways will be out of service during the morning peak time. I know. The line that we need to catch is closed during morning peak time. They are having some problems with tracks, and they need to fix them. I think it's a safety issue. It's very irritating. That's probably the busiest line at that time of the morning. I don't know why they decided to do that. I think if we get a few other people together, I can drive my car into work. Traffic will be bad, but it's much better than taking the bus. Oh, great idea! I'll ask around the office and let you know later. Miss Franklin, here is the inventory list in case we need to order anything. Please let me know by today because the supply company is closing for Christmas soon. I see. Well, Christmas is coming up, so we will need to wrap a lot of gifts for the staff presents. Also, I'm tired of holding my phone while typing, and we don't have anything for me to use. Can you please order me something? Yes, no problem. I will order that for you. Also, we are out of business cards, and we have some new employees beginning after Christmas. I suggest we have business cards ready when they arrive. Otherwise, we may look unprofessional. Good idea. Go ahead and order those too. Can you please send me the order form so I can double check it before you send it away? I'll email it to you soon. Hi, I'm competing in a triathlon next week, and I need some energy bars or drinks to have during the race. It's a six-hour race, so it will be exhausting. I like something that is low in fat and will give me a boost of energy quickly. Wow, that sounds exhausting. We actually have a new range of energy gels. My personal favorite is this one. It's called Hammer Gel. Oh wow, I've never heard of energy gels. That's convenient. Oh, this looks great. It is basically just sugar. That's perfect. It also has caffeine, which is really helpful. Our other products don't have that. But I suggest you don't have too much caffeine before you take this because this has quite a lot. Hello, Miss Grayson. This is Michael Cook calling from Alliance Financial Bank. It has recently come to my attention that some clients who renewed their credit card this month were sent the wrong card. We have had multiple calls from bank members saying that they were sent a credit card with someone else's name on it. According to our records, you were also sent the wrong credit card. We ask that you please dispose of the credit card by cutting it with a pair of scissors. In the meantime, we will issue a new credit card and have it delivered by express mail. We apologize for the inconvenience. Attention, all shoppers! The West Point Mall will be closing in ten minutes. We thank you for shopping with us and greatly appreciate your business. To purchase items, please bring them to the cashier right now. 
Also, we would like to inform you that a wallet that was found inside the store has been sent to the front desk. If your name is Catherine Goya, please stop by the front desk to claim the wallet. Once again, we will be closing in ten minutes. Please finish your shopping immediately. Thank you for calling Joyce Optical. If you are calling to check on the status of an order, press one. Remember, we are the only glasses store in town that offers the services of our opticians free of charge. That means you can get a complimentary eye examination as your vision changes. If you would like to meet with one of our opticians, press two now. We appreciate you choosing Joyce Optical, and we hope to see you soon. Would you like to own a high-powered laptop that is small enough to fit in your suit pocket or purse? Then the new compact laptop HyperTop from Hyperline is the one you have been waiting for. The laptop also boasts impressive graphics and fast processing time. However, this is not available at our stores for now. To purchase this laptop, you need to visit our website and place an order. If you order this laptop this week. We will provide a portable printer at no extra charge as a special promotion. Don't hesitate. Take advantage of this amazing opportunity. Hi, thanks for coming for this special meeting today. The reason I called everyone is to announce a new partnership with Walker Studios. As the CEO of Metro Studios, it is my great pleasure to witness this amazing opportunity to work with such a high-caliber company like Walker Studios. They possess a number of studios that are capable of producing cutting-edge quality 3D films. This will allow our company to begin producing 3D films. And why wouldn't we? The majority of our films are science fiction, and I believe a transition into 3D is an excellent path for us. I have ensured that we will have a full access to Walker Studios equipment, and in return, they will become a shareholder in our company. I suggest that our studio staff should spend the next following weeks studying how this new type of equipment works, so we can begin producing content as soon as possible. Hi, everybody. This Saturday, the fitness center will be upgrading our water heating system in the bathrooms. Unfortunately, the hot water will be off from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. If anyone was planning to come in and exercise, you might want to hold off until later. If the work gets delayed, I will send a text message to all club members to notify you of any changes. Hi, Chef Gada. This is Lauren Cole phoning from the restaurant kitchen. The delivery just came in, and there is a lot more meat and fish delivered that we don't usually have on our list. I don't recall any special events coming up, and the calendar doesn't have anything on it. Did you make the order? I'm going to call the supplier, but I want to check with you first in case you need the products. Give me a call back, and please bear in mind I have to finish the kitchen inventory by 11 a.m. and it's already 9:30. Thanks, chef. Welcome to your first training session at Jarrett's. The next four days will be quite intense as you will be shown a lot of different equipment you will be required to handle in your daily job. Try not to get too overwhelmed. Once you get used to the assembly process, the machines will become very easy for your efficiency at working the line will grow rapidly within a year. At Jarrett's, we pride ourselves on producing quality materials in a positive environment. We hold weekly team building exercises and a monthly staff getaway. I'm sure you will enjoy our company events and become good friends with your colleagues. Today, we will have a tour of the factory and meet the workers. The next three days are spent on machine training. One of the days we will have a special team lunch, and the president will be coming in to meet everybody. All right, everyone. Here's the analysis of this year's microbrew market shares. The good news is, all right, Alice is still in the top five small breweries in the North Cut region. The bad news is, the newest entry into our market, Strange Brew Ales, has a directly competing beer. And is making strong gains. In order to stay competitive, we must be able to introduce new styles of craft beer to our consumers. Our analysts agree. If the current trend continues, Strange Brew Ales will bump us out of the top five by this time next year. Our master brewers have come up with four new styles of beer, 
that we were introduced to a focus group at the upcoming Northcutt Beer Festival. Once we get consumer feedback, we will select the two most popular offerings and create an aggressive marketing campaign. Our sales must increase by at least five percent over the next quarter in order to maintain our market share in Northcutt. Welcome to Big Toys Warehouse Orientation. As an industry leader in children's toys, it is essential that you understand the huge volume of merchandise that you will be dealing with as a stockroom worker. The worksheet in front of you is a map of our warehouse. Each section of the warehouse is divided into zones by the type of toy and then arranged alphabetically by manufacturer. At the bottom of the map is a list of toys we would like you to collect and place on the designated pallet for shelving. There will be a Z and a number before the name of the toy to let you know what zone it is in. This is a timed exercise, and all toys should be collected within one hour. I understand this is a trial by fire, but once you get the hang of our organization, you will be able to complete a task like this with ease.